Um, so, as promised last time, I am back with this word called diagnosis. So, let us really try and understand it or simplify it rather. If you look at the English dictionary meaning of diagnosis, what is the meaning of it? It means to be able to differentiate between two situations or two, uh, two different conditions rather. Now, why does a, a doctor or a therapist or anyone need to use diagnosis? And is diagnosis as a process only used by the medical and the therapeutic field? The answer is no. If I am giving milk to my child as a mother, I am diagnosing and I know the difference between cold milk and lukewarm milk and hot milk and I won't give boiling milk to my child. So as a mother, I am diagnosing. I am differentiating between two different states of milk, two different conditions of milk. Uh, if I am going out somewhere as a person, I am deciding this is how my body is feeling, whether the weather is such that I should wear you know, light fitting clothes or tight, you know, warm woolen or what. So my body is diagnosing what kind of condition, what is the difference between two conditions. Um, and therefore making a decision as to basis this condition, what should be done. Simply taking this process, if you apply it to medicine, why do doctors need it? A, a medical practitioner needs to understand the difference between a body in a healthy state and an unhealthy state and not just that if it is in an un unhealthy state they also should be able to pinpoint accurately what is not okay what is the difference between having fever because of malaria and fever because of typhoid so there is fever but again differentiating between these two conditions also so that that accuracy helps them to give the right kind of medication if they make an error in in, in figuring out you know, what is wrong and why it is wrong, then the medicine won't work or it may have negative effects. Let us take this whole thing and apply it to our inner worlds or our inside story. So when you are working as therapists, or, you know, as people, if you are trying to understand uh, that for a while now, somehow, I just keep feeling sad. Then, in this kind of a situation, what would a diagnosis look like? What would a therapist try to figure out or ask you or what is it that they would facilitate you to understand about yourself? So, things like, since when I have been feeling sad? When I start feeling sad, what starts happening to my body? Which parts of my life is it affecting? Am I so sad that my energy levels are so down that I don't feel like spending time with my children? I don't feel like getting up from the bed? I don't feel like going to work? Or it's the kinds where I'm feeling sad but largely I'm being able to do whatever I am I'm supposed to do but you know it feels like a pull that I'm pulling myself. Then I may need to understand since when it started like I said how much is it there and when it started, did something trigger it? Was there any reason after which I started becoming sad? I might further with my therapist try and explore that is this sadness because something in my marriage is not really working well for me? Something in my career is not working well for me? Is there some kind of grief or some kind of pain I'm carrying from the past that is, you know, eating up into me? Is there Mm, something about my personal direction in life, about what I want to do, where I want to go, uh, there's dissatisfaction there or suddenly I'm sitting you know at a place where I don't feel any clarity. So what might look like a symptom sadness may come from different areas inside of me. So diagnosis in the therapeutic world is simply a process of figuring out what part of my inside world is not feeling well, you know? And why is it not feeling well? What has really gone wrong for it? That it is not in its exuberant, happy, satisfied place. Um, just like, just like any cold, cough, body pain, 
is a symptom and there is a deeper root cause for it. Similarly, any kind of, um, whether it is marital conflict, whether it is dissatisfaction with work, whether it is sadness, any of these kinds of, uh, you know, emotional or relational symptoms that we see have a, have a, have a more deeper reason to it. So, diagnosing is nothing but walking along with your therapist to figure out for yourself what might be the deeper root cause for what is happening to me or what is coming up for me in my everyday life. And, uh, and the beauty of it is that the more I understand my inner world, the more I understand um, and I think um, I think it will be better if I if I explain it to you with an example that how, how it starts working on you know um, um, helping a person change themselves so what is what is the point at which diagnosing itself starts becoming a tool for empowerment yeah um, maybe maybe next time um, we'll start from there that it's not just a tool to understand ourselves but it is also a tool of um, getting more and more empowered about our inner world so with, with the part two of diagnosis and meet you next time.